Alright guys, so uh, in this video, I'm going to give you some intuition, I'm going to give you some intuition on um, how to look at the palindrome problem and uh, how I would go about solving the palindrome problem using, using recursion. And um, to get started, let me give you some, some use cases, let me give you some use cases first and uh, you can see how I'm going to take these use cases later on to get a recursive, recursive solution. So, um, I don't know, let me just start with my name for example. So if my name, but well, my name is Abbas, but let me just take Abba. So if I take Abba, A B B A, and uh, I don't know if you guys are wondering who Abba is, uh, I encourage you to Google it up and uh, you'll see this really nice uh, musical group. Uh, and um, they basically are Abba. And uh, so if I have a string S, that's equal to Abba and uh, if I would like to get the palindrome, the, the definition of palindrome is if I take the reverse of S. So if I somehow get the reverse, so let me use a different color. Let me just use a different color. If I if I take the reverse of S, and the reverse of S is actually equal to my string S to start with, then this by definition is what palindrome is. This is what palindrome is. Okay, so that's a very, very, just a definition of what, of what palindrome is. So uh, again, if I have another string S, uh, let's take one more example. So let's just use a different color. Let's just say if I have S, which is equal to race car. Race car, right? What is the reverse? What is the reverse of S? The reverse of S is R A C E C A R, meaning reverse of a uh, reverse of S. <coughs> excuse me. Reverse of S is R A C E C A R, which means that the reverse of S, the reverse of S, is actually equal to equal to S, meaning this wooden expression, syntactic expression over here is true. Okay, so given this given this idea, let me see if I can actually come up with a recursive solution to solve to solve for palindrome. Okay, so how do I even go about solving this? Uh, so what's the fundamental idea? What are the two fundamental ideas of recursion? If I'm trying to solve a problem of a certain size n and if somehow, if somehow I can reduce the problem size into a smaller problem size, and I can small, and if I can solve that smaller problem size, okay, then I can use the solution. I can use the solution of the smaller problem size to facilitate in solving the original problem. Okay, so with recursion, with recursion, the two basic ideas is uh, first thing, I must somehow reduce my problem size. I must I must be able to reduce my reduce my problem size and uh, as I'm reducing my problem size I'm it must also at some point converge it must also at some point converge converge to the to the base case okay and base case is the, is, is, the, is the scenario that or part of the problem that can be solved using non recursion Okay, so so let's do that. Let's take our string s. Let's take a string s again, and uh, I'm going to start with, with with race car. R A C E C A R. Okay, that's my string race car, and uh, my solution is going to be really simple. This is my string s. Okay. My, the the way I'm going to implement this is that if s of zero, if s of zero is equal equal to s of the last character how do i get the last character of my string well i can just say minus one okay if the first character and the last character are equal okay that doesn't really mean it's still a palindrome but what i'm saying here is that if i'm trying to find the palindrome of my original string s if the first and the last character are equal to each other and 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 I'm going to say that whatever is in between, whatever is in between, meaning all of this thing is also a palindrome, okay? And if I 
comment from so, so, so this the entire thing this entire thing this entire thing is equal to uh, again remember this is just some kind of a pseudo code here so I'm just going to give back a boolean value I'm saying get me is palindrome let's call the function as is palindrome okay so let's just divide this out let's just draw a nice line to separate things out I have a function called is palindrome and what is palindrome returns back it just returns back by the, the string which I'm passing in so let's say it's a function and I'm passing in s is palindrome gives me back a true or a false it gives, gives me back a boolean, a boolean value okay so I'm just asking my function is s a palindrome and the implementation to that is I'm going to say if s of 0 is equally equal to s of minus 1 and I'm just going to say I'm just going to say is this piece of palindrome is this piece of palindrome okay is this piece a palindrome so I'm going to say and let's use a slightly different color I'm just going to ask my question again is palindrome is palindrome there you go is this piece palindrome how do I get that piece out well I'm just going to say I'm going to pass in a new string s but it's just a subset going from going from 1 all the way to minus 1 okay so look at this look at look at this look at this clarity here. it's so simple I'm asked that my original problem is is my string as a palindrome well, the implementation to that is I'm going to say, okay, first I'm going to solve the smaller problem. How do I know this is a smaller problem? Because you can see that my string S has been reduced. The next iteration, the next, on the recursive solution, this is my recursive solution. And the recursive solution, if you look at my recursive solution right there, is working on a problem size that has been reduced. Remember, the first basic idea of recursion is you must be able to reduce your problem size, right, as you do, as you do recursion. So if this was a problem size, if this string S was of length N, I'm now trying to solve the palindrome on a string which happens to be of length N minus 2. My problem size is getting reduced. This is good. And now what's the base case here? The base case is, I'm just going, the base case is, uh, so let me be consistent with my colors. The base case is, is palindrome is palindrome on string s right if len of s if len of s equals equals to one what is what is this going to be well this is going to be true right if my function is going to give me back a boolean value remember this is going to give me a boolean value this is one boolean expression right there and this function also gives me back a boolean value if both of these are true and true then s is actually actually uh, a palindrome Likewise, if the len of s is just one, then it is palindrome. A, a string that just has one character is palindrome. And I'm also going to add another base class, another base class that is palindrome, is palindrome on s is also true, is also true if the length of s is equal equal to zero. Okay, if it is equal to zero. So this is the intuition. This is the intuition I wanted to give you about 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 palindromes. And uh, again, with this intuition, we have hit both the scenarios of what recursion is all about: reducing the problem size and converging to a base case. Okay. As this problem, as the recursive problem gets smaller and smaller, as this number gets smaller and smaller, at some point it should hit this n minus two. The next step becomes n minus four, n minus six. As long as it gets smaller and smaller, at some point it's going to hit either of these either of these base case here and um, once it hit this base case here I'll be able to solve this problem non recursively so again what I want you guys to do is take this intuition take this intuition that I've just presented here and uh, and put it together in your code in Python and do some practice keep on solving keep on solving as much as you can to get a really really good grip and understanding and clarity with with recursion